Shabbat Shalom. It is the Sabbath, and I want to say peace unto you all. This is part three. Part three to the message, um, What You Don't See. And we are talking about uh, when people often say in church, but somebody prayed for me. Well, it was what they did not see, that there was either some grandmother, grandfather, maybe their pastor, a bishop, or evangelist, or their own very own mother or father or an auntie hallelujah or maybe a neighbor maybe somebody that just didn't have a title in it or anything like that it, it may have been a teacher that just had concerns and or someone that just just stayed in the word of god or someone that just was a regular in the church an usher or choir member that just saw something and and prayed you in hallelujah and so that's the message today what you don't see because a lot of times uh, children don't, don't don't understand that their parents that are in the Lord we're not talking about the parents that have abused uh, you or have uh, abandoned you or, un, or or have done unholy things to you those parents we're not talking about uh, they have to give an account to the Messiah but today we're just talking about what you don't see because a lot of times it's like wow why my mom won't let me do this or my dad and they're, they're, what they're really trying to do is build you up because they're what, what they haven't told you. And sometimes they do, they do go in detail. But what they haven't explained to you is that one day they have to leave you. And so what it's all about really is preparing you. So uh, if you're an adult and you've had a childhood that was full of abuse and abandonment, we're not talking about that type of parent that have, has done such evils. We're just talking about the parent that's in the Lord. A amen. We're coming from Ephesians chapter 6, and again, this is part 3 to the message entitled, What You Don't See. Because a lot of times the children get upset and they don't understand that what you don't see is someone's praying for you, someone's holding out hope for you, uh, someone is to see something in you, and that they want to manifest for God's glory and for your survival in these last days. Amen. So if you have the word of God, and, and uh, if you've uh, listened to part, some of you have heard part one and part two of this message already so you you already are uh, abreast as of where we're going with this and uh about heeding the instructions in parts one and parts two we talked about uh, we came from the book of proverbs and how solomon just about the start of each chapter talked about uh, uh heeding the instructions of a father and and the law of a father and a mother and the, and the law and statutes and commandments of the most high god and um, just the, 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 the fear of God, the, the wisdom of God, the understanding and things like that. But it just kept going back to the instructions, the instructions. So we were um, uh, expounding on those things. Again, what you don't see. So a lot of times it may seem hard, but like the word of God says, despise not the chastening of the Lord. You know what I mean? Because if you're able to deal with things from your natural father, you should be able to deal with things from the heavenly father. And if you can't be, obedience is better than sacrifice, the Bible says. And if you cannot be obedient to your, to your uh, earthly parents, how do you think Abba, the heavenly father, feels? Amen. Shabbat Shalom. So my prayer is that he to have a near here with the spirit is saying, Hallelujah, what you don't say, what you don't see. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word of the Most High. That's why we, it's that phrase, that cliche is commonly, is often said, uh, that common phrase, uh, the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E, the basic instructions before leaving earth. If you will, turn to Ephesians, uh, the sixth chapter. And again, these are just sermonettes, little little excerpts, little uh, just the preaching topics and, and, and things. Uh, but again, we're talking about what you don't see. And as far as when when a, when a child is like, wow, my parent is just, they, they, they're trying, but what they're doing is they're trying to put fruit in you. And, and, and I think of my mom. I lost my mom two and a half years ago, and I'm still hurting, you know, but I know she's with the Heavenly Father. And as I said before, we all know the things that Scripture says, and, and, and religious people will say to you, absent from the body, present with the Lord, and they couldn't stay suffering like that, and you'll understand it better by and by. All those things I've preached and know, but I'm telling you, when when it's when when you have a relationship, my, my mother was I can't even explain how close we we were, even in her sickness and illness. She she wasn't out of her mind or anything. We just the bond was so tight. She instilled a lot of things in me that uh, I'd have to preach it. I have to bring that in a whole other a sermon or another topic. It was so deep, a, a, a lot of a lot of 
about the deep things that she's blessed me and my and my sister with, even my daughters and my grandson. Yes, I am a father. I have a daughter that's 26 years old, a daughter that's 15 years old, and a grandson that's five. But um, and a lot of times, you know, being a PK is hard. A lot of times, some of the PKs are the worst children running around in the church. PK is a title we use in the church for uh, called preacher's kid. All right, amen. So anyway, Ephesians chapter 6, and I won't be long. And it simply says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And again, I want to stress, we're talking about parents that are in the Lord. If your parent was abusive to you when you were coming up or did unholy things to you, or, or, or things that were that left that was abandonment issues and just left you on somebody's doorstep or, 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 or blamed you for, for even having you these kind of ill things we're not talking we're talking about parents that are in the Lord our prayers and, and, and support and concern are for you and we're talking about the, the parent re, parent child relationship when the parent is trying to build up the child with love and, and nourishment and and things that they will need to survive in these last and evil days this is what we're trying to preach about understanding in the child to hear, heed the instructions of parents that are in the Lord. You know, talking about the parents that are not in, in Yah. Yah means Lord. All right. Ephesians verse uh, chapter 6 verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And and why? Because their parents, they, they are heeding the, the statutes and laws and commandments of the Most High. And what they're trying to do is they it's, it's things that the Messiah may be speaking to them by the Ruach, which is the, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit. And and they see these things. And, and you're, you're offspring of them. You're, you're flesh and blood of them. Why would they not want your best? And so what may seem like, don't do this, don't do that. It's no one's trying to control you or live their life through your life because they made mistakes. And now you got to be perfect and all those religious things or... Your bishop, so-and-so's kid, you're not supposed to, we're not talking about that. We're talking about just understanding the instruction that a parent in the Lord is trying to say, is trying to show you, is a vision that they have in you. It's a seed that they're sowing in you. They, it's because they, but they, because, you know, they can't, they don't really want to tell you when you're a little kid that, hey, I got to leave you one day. You know, I think of my mother kissing me to sleep as a little boy, saying good night and, and turning off the light. I think of the little kiss the first day of school. I think of when I had to kiss her and say goodbye as she was dying. And I don't mean to get emotional, but again, it's a very, you know, and some of you know what that's like. Some of you have lost children uh, to murder and, or illness and things like that. So, you know, it's a very sensitive topic, and we're just talking about what you don't see. When you don't understand your parent, a lot of times it's something that they see, but you don't see. only thing you can see is, wow, they... They won't let me do this, won't let me, it's not that. They see something, and they're trying to make sure you stay on the straight path, the narrow path to heaven, because broad is the path to destruction. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Verse 2, honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. You see, the Heavenly Father will bless you just for honoring your parents that are in the Lord. We're talking about parents in the Lord. We're not talking about abusive parents, parents that have abandoned you, and done unholy things. We're talking about parents that are in the Lord that see something and they're sowing something in you. They they see something great and they're trying to prepare you and have fruit amongst you because they don't know when they may be called home. And then there you'll be left alone. But you'll always remember the sayings, hey, my dad told me this, my mom told and my mom told me that. And it might some of you might not have parents and you have great foster parents, great parents that have adopted you and they're they're foster parents and they're they're amazing. Somebody has a godmother that's amazing, or a grandmother, or a church mother. My grandmother was a church mother back in the whole, you know, in holiness church days. We ain't gonna be no gum in your mouth in the church. Girls ain't coming in the church, you know, without with pants on and all those good old things that some of the older saints know about. And they seem strict. But this is what I'm saying. No, it's what you don't see. They see something in you, and they're what the Bible say. Train up a child in the way that they should go, and they won't depart. And see, now that we're grown, we can look back and say, "Ah, now I see why they didn't let me do this." And do come on, somebody. If I wish I had a witness, uh -huh. Ephesians six verse one: Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Verse two: Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. See, the, the Messiah will grant you favor and promise just because you're obedient. 
Hallelujah. What the Bible say? The wrath of God falls on the children of disobedience. I've been in, in the Lord's wrath before. My goodness. It ain't like jail. It ain't like time out in the corner. As I said before, it's you ain't getting out till he ready to let you out. Till, till he has you ready and prepared. And in the fire until you're ready to serve him. Until you're opening your mouth with your hands raised. And, and saying, Lord, what must I do to be saved? I don't want to live that life no more. Huh? Come on, somebody. What you don't see. Mm, my goodness. Ephesians 6, uh, verse 3. That it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth. You see, a lot of times the days are cut short because of the disobedience and the factors uh, of doing things disobedient and, and keeps you in the pathways of destruction. And sometimes it's somebody you hanging with. They ain't, they ain't even trying to be obedient to the Most High's word, to the Most High, to their parents, to your parents, to you. And you're just hanging with them and hanging with them. There's an old saying, if you're an eagle, why are you hanging around with pigeons? Somebody get that later. <laughs> Because the pigeon going to say, hey, you're an eagle. You should be out flying. Why are you hanging with us? We hanging on the telephone wire, looking at the cans and seeing what we, how we can. But you have that grace. Oh, I'm going to leave that alone. Ephesians 6, verse 4. And ye, and ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. That's very important. Don't be so hard that that, that, your, that your child feels like, you know, it's, it's just so, it's, it's, it's a critical Thing and they, they're, they're going to start doing things that's against the word against you and you know the scriptures say in the last days children are going to rise up against their parents and children are going to be disobedient to their parents and a man's foes meaning his enemies going to be within his own house that's deep ain't it and so this is why we want to raise them up in the way they should go otherwise if the enemy get a, a hold of them now you got an enemy in your own house that's another message i'm gonna leave that alone hallelujah but we'll get to it uh ephesians 6 uh, uh, uh verse 5 hallelujah let's go back to 4 and ye fathers provoke not your children to wrath but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the lord so you want to bring them up and nurturing everything ain't all you know you know, spare the rod, spoil the child, right? But everything is not just constriction, 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 restriction, restriction. But you want to be nurturing. You want to be rewarding them for the good that they do. Otherwise, they're just going to feel like, hey, my mom, my dad is a hard task master, and I can't never please them, you know. And so you don't want to be that way because you too have a, a father, heavenly father. Eh? Amen. So be it. So. But bring them up in the admonition, the, the, the fear of the Lord, the warnings of the Lord, you know, because... He's great and powerful, and he's a respecter of no one, you know, but he looks down, and he sees, he's looking to see who will serve the Most High, amen, so today it's what you don't see, hallelujah, what you don't see, somebody is praying for you, somebody has hope for you, a uh, young man of God, young uh, daughter of God, son of, uh, young, young man, a, a son of someone that's really in the Lord, and you feel like, man, it's just too hard in this household, they see something in you, and some of the parents that are, that are you don't want to be taking your child to a place of wrath you want to be loving and nurturing and bring them up in the admonition and the fear of the lord it's what you don't see someone is praying for you. it might just be a neighbor it might just be some it might be the coach and you're like man he's hard on me at practice but he might see he might see an nba baller in you an nfl quarterback in you you know he might see he, that teacher might see a, a, a surgeon or a doctor or, or, or a, a nurse or something in you so it's what you don't see so sometimes you want to take heed, heed the instructions of a father, heed, heed, listen, the instructions, heed the instructions of the word of the most high, he is our heavenly father, Abba, amen, listen, my time is up, shalom to you all, to you all on this Shabbat, I pray that the message has touched someone, hallelujah, and strengthened someone, and gave someone understanding about the instructions that a parent often gives, that may seem hard, but really it's out of love. And what the Bible say, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Be blessed. Till next time, shalom.